Roche in Florida. How you doing, Spot Shalom? All right, hallelujah. So we'll move back here, and I want to introduce my wife and have her say something to you and uh, to your assembly there and words of encouragement because that's why we're really making this because that's what came to my mind uh, about two days ago uh, just by the going out of this uh, feast days that we're in. And uh, we want to do that. We want to encourage Brother Moshe, and we want to encourage all those there in the assembly today. So I want my wife to say something to you in, in Florida and to the assembly there. Barak Hashem Yahweh, Rabbi Moshe. I greatly appreciate the work that you have been doing over the years, and I know it's been a lot of years for you. And I know that you and your wife have traveled many a pathway and they've not been easy because I know what we've been through but as I know and you know that we know that Yahweh has been with us and he didn't say he would make it easy but said he would always be with us and he is our strength and I do want to tell you how much I appreciate the restoration scriptures that you took all the time and the money that it took to print this and how you put Yahweh's name and Yahushua's name and all the prophets and all the original names back where they belong, back in his word. I appreciate that and I love this. I used to have a King James, and since I received this, I have not picked it up one time because this right here does the word justice, and it puts back what should never have been taken out. And I want to let you know how much I appreciate it. And to let you know, as you see, that we do have our head coverings on. And I studied it out back in 19, in 99 or 2000 in 1 Corinthians. And I studied it with the Strong's Concordance. And I understood, me trying to understand it, to study it out in the King James, that I understood it then that a woman should have her head covered. And it's not her hair that is her covering. But you, the way you teach it and what you bring forth from the Word makes it so much plainer and can tell someone else. And I, it, the women that does not want to wear them, it's not because they can't understand it. It's because they don't want to submit to His Word. But I do wear mine 24-7. And I know as long as I have a head covering on that I can pray and I can call upon Yahweh. And he hears me because my head is covered in submission to him. And I appreciate all the videos and, and all the, the, the DVDs and all the pamphlets that you have written. And like my husband said, okay. it was your pamphlet that you had written that we understood that our father had a name. And it wasn't calling him by titles. That's not his name. But he did have a name. And I appreciate that because that helped us so much. And then we began to understand all the mistakes and all the things that was taken out of the King James Version. But I pray that Yahweh bless you and your wife and your family and your whole assembly oh, there in Florida. Amen. And, and I enjoy watching your videos because I, I feel like I'm part of that congregation when I see it. And how your people rejoice and worship Yahweh the way he needs to be worshipped by his people. I thank you again for your time and your work. And I pray that Yahweh bless you and your family tremendously. And the work that is yet for you to do until Yahweh, Yahushua comes for us all. Shalom. And Yahweh bless you according to numbers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Of course, she's mentioned number six. The last three or four verses is what she's mentioned there. I want uh, my mother-in-law to say hello to the assembly in Florida and to Brother Moshe and to try to offer him some words of encouragement.
Well, hallelujah. I'll give her a moment here. She's weeping and crying, but that's rejoicing in Yahweh. Hallelujah today. That's one thing we can do. You know, when I was a man years ago, I thought men weren't supposed to cry. But I learned when I met Yahweh, there's a difference. So, hallelujah. Man with a broken, contrite spirit before a holy creator. Hallelujah. Like my wife said, we're so appreciative of Brother Moshe and the assembly there. And we do want to encourage Brother Moshe and also the assembly in Yahweh today. Hallelujah. And to help them. Pray for them, too, just like we need prayer from them. Hallelujah today. Pray ye one for another, the scriptures teach. And we want to get acquainted with them. And, and Brother Moshe asked me, as I mentioned a while ago, what tribe were we from a long time ago? I, I was kind of reluctant to really uh, commit myself out to anyone because of where I had come out of in 1979, my wife and I. So I was really, really a little bit reluctant, Brother Moshe. I have to admit that to say anything. But I understand over the years as I've watched your tapes and all the ministry that you're doing, you're doing a great work for Yahweh. And we want to encourage you because one day, hallelujah, you'll receive the rewards for this work that you're doing today. We know it's not by works that we're saved, but it's by the precious blood. But still yet, faith and works goes together. And we need to understand to encourage one another. And that's what we're doing today. So I want uh, my mom, my, I call her mom, my mother-in-law, to say something to you. Yahweh bless you. Shalom, shalom. All right, Yahweh bless you. Shabbat shalom. Hallelujah today. So our little assembly, that's all we have in here. We have 13, except for my son now you've not met. So at this time, I guess we'll have to bring him and let him say something for Yahweh. This is my son, and he's the one who's been running the camera. My wife and I, we only have this one young man here. He's 23 years old, and he's doing a work in the kingdom just as my nephew is, and we all are. But I want him to say uh, hello to Brother Mo Moshe and encourage him in the work that you're doing, Brother Moshe. Shalom, Brother Moshe, and to your entire assembly. Um, we just want to thank you, as they've already said before, especially for the Restoration Scriptures. It's been a blessing to all of us. Um, it, it's so much better, and it makes so much more understanding to read the Scriptures that has been unaltered by man's hand because they want to translate, they want to take things out right. because it didn't line up with their doctrine. But you have, re you have taken the time and the dedication, and I know self-publishing is not an easy task, but we want to thank you. We want to send uh, encouragement and blessings yeah. to your entire assembly. Right, amen. And we want to be able to pray for you to be able to that your assembly, everything that you're doing is furthered in the right. kingdom. And we ask you also to pray for us. Um, like you said, like my dad said before, we don't actually have an assembly right now, but we. Uh, we have had one in the past, but we'd like to be able to get a place where we can all congregate again and be able to invite others into our assembly and be able to teach more people. This is the end days. Right. We don't have long to work. Right. Hallelujah. Because um, there, there is a day when right. man cannot work, as it says in the Word. But again, we just want to thank you for the Restoration Scriptures and the videos and the pamphlets and every, all the work that you are doing. We want to Thank you and your assembly, and just keep going. Yahweh will re will be able to bless you, and Yahushua's return is very close at hand. So we thank you for everything that you have done, and we want to be able to s encourage you and your assembly. Shabbat Shalom. Well, hallelujah. Thank you, son. Uh, we've tried to put this together, Brother Moshe. This is the first time we've tried to make something now with this equipment that Yahweh's blessed us to have. We have some good equipment that we have, and the problem is we're a little bit nervous or a little bit camera shy today. And I've still got one over here. Uh, Corbin, are you going to say something to him for us? 
You gonna say something, Brother Moshe, for us? Huh? You ready to say something? Okay. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. All right. That's our smallest one in here today, Brother Corbin. He's four years old. We appreciate that, Brother Corbin. He told Brother Moshe in Florida, Shabbat Shalom. And my son and my wife and everyone in here, and uh, Brother Damien, and it was tried to encourage Brother Moshe in the assembly because that's what come to my mind. I told him about it. I believed we should send something. And since we had this equipment, I knew it was easier than to send an email, so I, we drug it out, and we've tried to make this today to send it down to you because, like my wife stated, and my son also, these scriptures that you worked on have took a lot of laboring, but that's laboring. I know that you love doing it for the kingdom and for our Heavenly Father, today, Yahweh, and restoring His name back to the scriptures and helping millions of souls, I'm sure this will do. I know there's not a long time to work, but we do want to work what time we have. Hallelujah today. But we do want to encourage you and thank you for these scriptures and the hard work that you've done and the hours you've put into it. And uh, we want to encourage you to continue because we know that the time is short. So we want to take a moment here and I want you to, all of our assembly to come and, and to say goodbye to you and, and we'll get this edited and get it in the mail. Brooke, 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 Brooke,